Come with me to the Mile 12 Market in Manchester. I am holidaying in Manchester and the Ojos, my in-laws in the UK, converge here for the New Year celebrations. Our host, Uncle Leke and Dr. Moin had to stock up the house for the celebrations. Plus, their daughter is a year older, so it was going to be a celebration weekend. It's a very breezy cold morning here in Manchester and we are here to buy meat. First up was the butchers. This is so different from our Nigerian butchers. Having arrived quite early, we had to be on the queue in the cold. Well, it may not be too cold for them, but I had a thermal wear on two sweaters and one jacket on one head warmer and two hoods i was really cold 5 five thirty to get here for the meat it's really cold but i like to see it the queue was really moving slowly but unlike my 12 no one was shouting everybody was waiting their turn patiently finally we were in I know this doesn't look like our my hotel butchers. No wooden tables, no flies. This one was just looking like a surgical room. Plus the sellers were wearing white to sell meat. Mbano, it is not giving me Ogasule vibes. Shady Smith goes sweet like this, so. Anyway, we bought shaki, kidney, liver. If you're buying at Oibo Butcher, just say tripe and um, or fowls, and then they will give you shaki, kidney, and liver. No intestines in the shop. We also got beef, cow food, oxtail, and some lamb meat. Yeah. Um, you call it as well. Five, five, eight. Yeah, beef. Beef with bone or without bone? I'm trying to get it. With, with bone? Yes. Chop? Yes, please. I vote. Um, Yeah. Okay. Does that mean to be? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, what's your look? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of bad. 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 We ordered enough meat to last the many of us that will be in Manchester for the New Year weekend. And I was just thinking of all the things I would do with it. Next stop is Smithfield Market, just about five minutes away from the butcher. Alright, so... Everything African. Okay, so we are here at Smithfield Market. Um, we are buying tomatoes, vegetables, yeah, food stuff here. Does it extend to the other side? Oh, really? Mm, this place smells like fish. Cartons of fish, shrimps, warehouses on a large expanse of land with butchers, seafood sellers, fishmongers, tomato, pepper, onion, vegetables, yeah, yeah. name it. Anything at all you need. Another two ribs, darling. What's this? Um, prawns. So we get this one. Prawns, yeah. Okay. That is, darling. Tell you something. Finish. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to wash it. Oh, yeah. I just open it. I don't know how to wash it. Just, the dirt is here. Yeah. What kind of fish What fish is it? Eight. Ten each. How much is one? Ten each. Ten pounds 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 each. Ten p
There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten fish, twenty-seven quid, two pounds seventy each. They're already scaled and they're already gutted. Already scaled, yeah. Do you yeah, have them? Yeah, right there. Box of those is twenty, uh, twenty-seven. How many is in there? Oh, quite a few, 10 kilo in it mate, that's the box. No, no mate, no, no, no. Come on, look at it. No, we don't split it, look. 27 quid. How about your crown, boss? 27 quid a box. I didn't come, you can open it, please. Space, right? Yeah, I've just got some fish, now we're going to get pet pets. So this is like a big market where they sell lots of groceries, lots, lots of groceries in wholesale. Smithfield Market in Manchester is where most of the shops come to buy what they retail. Now, I can hear some shouting. It's giving me some form of market vibes, but it's not the level of Mile 12 Lagos yet. It's still, it's still kind of too clean, orderly, and most importantly, it's very affordable. You want to make jello? Yeah. Let's take bell for yeah, yeah. first. Can I pick one bottle? One, one bell pepper. One bell pepper. The other one. This one? This one? Yeah. Oh! Tomatoes. I don't know. I don't think I think they already selected them. <laughs> okay, can you they all look good though. They all look good. Do you need onions? We should need lots of onions. Okay. Same shops though. I don't think they are the same shop. Eh. We should ask the people in this shop. The amount you may spend in the retail shop is almost what you need to buy in boxes here. You just need to come early as it close very early too. Probably habanero because it's so difficult to differentiate. But I think this is habanero. This is bigger. Oh, this one is okay. Oh, definitely. Spicy white one. Meanwhile, yams are sold in cartons here, and it's like a lucky dip kind of business. Pick a box, and anything you see inside, you collect. Meaning you are not able to select good ones. Whatever you find is what you get. When we got home, there were a couple of bad ones in this box. You can find like every food ingredient in this market and i was just in one section i didn't go past this section i even came across sugar cane yeah sugar cane smithfield is big if you live in manchester you should do your wholesale shopping here it will save you a lot of money and you will find almost everything you need yes they do just cash payments too.
before you all say gina why are you the one telling us this you don't live in manchester you only went on holiday well let's hear from dr moe who is a resident here right, so why do you prefer why do you prefer to buy from here um, so it's kind of cheaper than when you go to the normal small African shops. Okay. Because that's where this is where they come to, to buy okay. stuff that they resell to us. Yeah. So let's say for instance, like the red bell pepper that I bought for um, a box for nine pound, I probably buy it for like seventeen pounds. If you wanted to buy a box, if I want to buy the box, that's the same size. Size. Like normal small African shops. Yeah. I probably buy for like 17 pounds pound. okay. so i'm saving like almost half, half of, of the it. amount yeah. so which is really good it looks like it's a lot now but on mm -hmm. the long run it's always cheaper. once you're able to store it exactly yeah. for now like i know my family is covered for like two months mm -hmm. and i've been able to save a lot of money, money. Makes so a lot of that's sense. why we just come here yeah. makes a lot of sense and there has to be morning like this. Yeah, so they close at twelve o'clock here. Yeah? Oh, okay. So they open at five. So it's from five up to, up until twelve, 12. noon. Yeah, okay. and till the next day. You can see a lot of people coming in. So lots of cars. So we are back home, and um, just before we clear up, we have to allow the snows. So we let them outside because it's freezing cold outside. There is no way this meat is getting spoiled outside here. Well, it's like freezer temperature outside. We've got turkey, we've got yeah. I hope this is helpful to all new okay. Manchester residents and all of you relocating from Nigeria. I'm sure there'll be markets like this in your new cities. Find them, it will be okay. very helpful to you. Okay, please subscribe to my channel, Foodies and Spice, for more stories, more food stories, lifestyle. I'll be showing you a lot this new year. Happy New Year!